Hi, I'm Christoph Palmeier, researcher at the Institute for Food and Resource Economics at the University of Bonn, Germany. In this video, I would like to introduce you to Fulfolge, a decision support system for optimizing cropping choices and fertilization management. Every year, farmers need to decide which crop to plant on a field and how to fertilize it. Their choices need to reflect the growing number of determinants. On the individual field level, location factors such as soil types and crop rotational effects, as well as technological and economic factors need to be considered. At farm scale, the cropping plan needs to fit to the farmer's labor and machinery endowments. Furthermore, command and control measures related to agri-environmental legislation need to be considered. The German Fertilization Ordinance, which implements the EU Nitrous Directive, provides a striking example. It prescribes complex field-specific management standards, for instance depending on the chosen crop, its yield and the nitrogen content of the soil. Among other reasons, the announcements of the stricter measures led to nationwide protests from farmers. With regards to the fertilization ordinance, farmers are fearing profit losses from the adaptation to the stricter measures. The full forward decision support system assists farmers with finding the optimal crop for a field and a fertilization strategy that is both income maximizing and adhering to the new fertilization ordinance. It only takes a couple of minutes to use, so let's dive right in. Fulfog is a web application aimed at German arable and livestock farmers. In order to use it, we need to create an account first. When signing up for the application, the farm's physical address is required besides the obligatory email address. The farm's address is required in order to calculate the farm-to-field distances at a later stage. Once we signed up for the application, we can use the automatic import using our customer reference number from the EU or Direct Payment Application Scheme. This will download all fields our farm operates on and source additional information from various linked open databases in the background. To name a few, soil types and properties are gathered from the BGR soil maps, farm to field distances are evaluated using the open source routing machine, and regionalized farm planning data is acquired from the KTBL databases for all of the crops the farm has been cultivating in the past. When the data import is completed, Fulfog is ready to create a first optimized cropping plan. The cropping plan results page offers a couple of elements to investigate. First, there is a table representing all fields of the farm, including field size, farm to field distances, the previous crop and the recommended crop proposed by the optimization. Also, the table comprises of a checkbox of whether catch crop should be cultivated before the main crop is sown. In the last column, the expected gross margin for cultivating the crop on the particular field is presented. A click on the gross margin reveals a detailed description of how the gross margin was calculated. We can see the effect of previous crops and soil quality on the yield for a crop on a particular field. Also differences in variable cost due to greater farm to field distances and plot sizes are reflected. To the right of the page, a figure displaying the crop shares resulting from the currently selected cropping choice is shown. The figure can also be toggled to show the crop shares of the past year's cropping plan as a reference. Below the crop share figure, check marks are shown that indicate whether the cropping plan adheres to the greening requirements being environmental obligations linked to the EU direct payments. Below these check marks, a figure displays the field work required for the current cropping plan. At the bottom of the page, a map is displayed showing all fields of the farm and the currently selected cropping choices on the fields. With a little effort we spend, we just created an optimized cropping plan respecting our farm's previous crops, regionalized yields and prices, as well as soil properties and farm to field distances in less than 3 minutes. And that includes the sign up on the web application. However, Fulfog is capable to do more. Let's have a look at the following example. Looking at the change in crop shares resulting from the optimization when compared to the past year's cropping plan, we can see that the crop share of grass clover has been increased drastically. A further look at the current grass margin reveals a quite high profitability of the crop, which we assume the farm does not realize in our example. Let's fix this. We head to the Market Development tab where we are presented with a time series chart showing prices, yields and direct costs being the sum of seed and spraying costs for each crop. If available, the data is based on historic data from the region, if not the values from the planning data shown for every year. The values for the year corresponding to our current planning year present the expected values that will be eventually used in the optimization model. By clicking and dragging the data points, we can adjust them to our expected values. As we assumed the farm cannot utilize grass clover, we drag the expected price and yields to zero.
let's see the effects of our change on a cropping plan. We head to the cropping plan results page and rerun the model. Due to the unprofitability of the crop, the newly optimized cropping plan doesn't include grass clover anymore. As we can see, the generic nature of 4.4 allows to replace all input data to more specific information if available. So far, our cropping plan does not account for any manure. Manure management is rather important in Germany though. A greater share of the farms either have their own livestock, a biogas plant or receive manure from livestock or biogas farmers. Manure management imposes a whole new set of restrictions on farms. Especially with the advent of stricter measures in natural vulnerable zones, so-called red areas, Farmers face certain obstacles when trying to assess how much manure they are allowed to apply. Fulfoil can help farmers with finding the optimum amount of manure to be spread on their fields, reducing the adaptation cost to the new legislation. In order to capture this functionality, let's assume our farm operates a biogas plant. We start off by adding the manure to the model. We click on the Manures tab, click on the App button and select the Manure category. The manure categories reflect the categories defined in the fertilization ordinance and are pre-filled with the nitrogen and phosphate content specified in the legislation. Subsequently, we head to the restrictions tab. Here we introduce a lower bar of 60 hectares of maize in our cropping plan as required by our biogas plan. Let's see the effects of our changes on the cropping plan again. We can see that two new columns appeared in the table, a column indicating the recommended amount of manure to be spread and another column indicating whether autumn fertilization should be undertaken. Our example farm does not have any fields in a nitrate sensitive area, also called red area. If the farm would have fields in the red area, another column would appear, indicating the percent of nitrogen reduced on each particular field. For more information regarding this topic, please refer to the manuscript. Looking at the crop share figure, we can see that the optimized cropping plan now includes slightly more than 60 hectares of maize, as required by our IGUS plant. Following the optimization, we may carry out what-if scenarios by altering the cropping choice or the amount of manure to be spread out for a field in the table. Changing any of these values will lead to a box appearing, which presents the effect of the change on the total gross margin compared to the optimum and possible agronomic issues resulting from the crop choice. For example, choosing sugar beets on the field Galta Kamp instead of potatoes would lead to an expected loss of 6,945 euro. Also a warning appears reminding us that the recommended 4 year crop rotation waiting period for sugar beets is not fulfilled on this field. Once we are satisfied with our cropping plan, we can download an Excel file containing all the relevant information. Also the fertilizer planning sheets required by the fertilization ordinance have been automatically prepared. While this demonstration only scratched the surface of all the features built into Fulfolger, we hope that it conveys its main benefit, assisting farms with creating an optimal cropping plan for their farm with little effort. It is user-friendly and takes a little time to create a first optimized cropping plan. Full Focus open source software and welcomes your contributions.